today I'm in Lapland, I'm going to be spending one night in a glass igloo. These are designed so you can actually lay in bed and see the northern lights. Look at that, I can actually see it. Also, mine comes with a hot tub. Of course I'll check out the food and so much more. So this is located not far from Santa Claus Village, in fact where I stayed last year. It's a little bit windy today, but it's not as cold as it was last night when I arrived. It was minus 20 and that was bone chilling cold. So I checked in late last night. Let's go and check out my glass igloo. So here is the map. Reception is literally in the middle and all the glass igloos are surrounding it. I'm literally just here, I think so. And my igloo is 761. What's really nice about it, it's actually surrounded by forests so it's really nice only problem with my camera is if it's out in the cold for too long it does start to freeze so you can see all these glass igloos just here mine is right down the end where it's very quiet and a bit more secluded the wind is really blowing the snow around today nice they've got a little area you can sit outside if you fancy it I don't know why they've got these logs here because I thought there might be a little fire pit but there isn't I thought that was real then so this is where the reception is and where you go and have dinner and breakfast I will show you that in just a little bit what I like about this area it really does feel like you are in the wilderness They are actually really cute. Some of these have saunas and some of them have hot tubs, which is exactly what I've got. So here is my glass igloo 761. From the outside, there's not really much to see other than a chair, a brush and somewhere to get rid of the snow off your boots. Unlike the cottages that I stayed in last year that had a little porch veranda thing and a nice little table and chairs. Mind you, you're not really going to be sitting out in this weather, are you? Let's go in. Nice and warm. So the bathroom is in there. This is the main area and this is actually Probably, this is probably the only bit that's actually not glass. The rest of it is, come on. And here it is, my nice little cozy space. It is very warm in here, there's underfloor heating. The only heating they do have though is from the air conditioning unit which is up there. But um, it's got heated glass, a bit like what your car window does in the winter, but it only runs for about 15 minutes. So you turn it on and it should melt any snow the, or frost that is up on the window. So just going back into the little entrance hall, this is where I'm gonna put my clothes. Obviously I've got my clothes here already. I do have a robe. I also have some slippers, some extra pillows, and a little area here to put some stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, there is a, a nice little vanity mirror there to check your hair. But the bedroom, stroke living area is um, it's really cozy actually and if you've ever been to Finland you'll notice how they make the beds I love how they do it they basically just fold up the duvets and the other thing about these beds is that the mattress a big mattress down here at the bottom and then you've got this thick topper uh, and then you've got your your duvet and the duvets are very thin which is quite surprising so I slept here last night it was very comfy the only issue that I found is that that air conditioning unit I don't know if you can hear that does make a bit of a racket so I turned it off big mistake because of the glass it actually made the room quite cold even though you got underfloor heating um, cold air sinks so I could feel the cold on my face, which wasn't overly comfortable. So I had to put that back on. And then of course I couldn't sleep because, well, that makes a bit of a racket. But I can't complain because you can lay in bed and see the Northern Lights. And the thing is about the Northern Lights is that you never know when they're gonna happen. I mean, there are apps that you can use. You can check out websites, but they do have a tablet that will send you a notification at any time throughout the day or the night when the aurora 
is overhead. And it is pretty good because I got an alert as I arrived last night. As you can see, there was the alert on the tablet. I went straight outside, although I didn't really need to, but I went outside. Look at that, I can actually see it. That is amazing. Well, would I be able to see this from my bed? So I came back inside and as you can see, yep, I can see it just like the photo showed. I could see it from laying in bed. How many times do you get these photos online showing like an amazing experience and then it's never really true, but wow, that really was. Just checking out the view. You can see all the snow covered trees. One thing you'll notice, there is no shading up top, but there is curtains that go all the way around the side. So, you know, if you are walking around in here naked, um, you can obviously protect your dignity. There's even a little elf up top. But by the bedside, you've got a little table to put some stuff on, a little side light, nice little lamp. And I really do love this. Look at that with these jewels in the headboard. Wouldn't that be cool if they actually lit up? They don't know. Also, um, reindeer husk, real reindeer husk placed there, which is nice. The beds are very simple. I've got a little lamp over here and a little table that moves. I do have a kettle, a little bit of lime scan in there. Quite surprised because I thought that Lapland water and finished water was some of the best in the world. It is probably to drink as well. So within the bedroom, you've got a tiny little area where you can sit on a chair, have a nice cozy rug and watch the TV or have a cup of tea and look outside. Shame there's not more than one chair in here, but obviously these rooms are very small. In here, I've got my little drawer full of goodies. Uh, the only thing I was gutted about is that, yes, I do have tea, coffee, hot chocolate, um, sugar, but I don't have any milk, so I need to buy milk. And I believe that you can buy that from reception. They don't really have like a, a shop here, although there is a garage within walking distance. So this room I've booked for two nights and you can book them with a sauna or you can book them with a hot tub, which is exactly what I did. Now I tested it out last night. I sat out there in minus 20. Um, it's a little bit warmer today, so I'm going to get in in a minute. But before we do that, let's check out the bathroom. So the bathroom is just a shower, toilet and sink. It comes with a little free amenity bag. There's loads of goodies in here. Hair conditioner, body lotion, shower gel. Nice little bag. Box of tissues, pointless <laughs> fake flower. But look at the detailing look, even on these hooks here with the logo of the snowflake. I like that, it's very nice. Couple of glasses, small shaving mirror and up here, is the hair dryer. I like how they put it in this little bag thing. I've got some towels and then the shower is pretty big to be fair. I mean, I could fit at least four people in here comfortably. Um, the thing about a lot of these um, bathrooms in Lapland, they're all kind of wet rooms as well. So they do come with one of these. So you kind of have to squeegee the water away otherwise it will go all over the bathroom floor. Two shower heads, one to reach the bits that you can't, and the other one to give you a nice rainfall shower. I do like the way they've got the lighting in here though. And this, this is really nice, is this slate, fake slate? Fake slate, have you ever heard of that? You got some hair and body shampoo in here. It doesn't smell very nice actually, so it's probably better to use the immunity kit. So I'll come to the price at the end and I did pay that little extra to get the hot tub that is just around the corner. Here it is and it's um, very secluded and this looks amazing at night and I'll probably get in here tonight but um, to show you what it's like right now as I lift this back there it is hot and steamy just turn the lights on I'm just so gutted that Gabby wasn't here because if you watch the Travel Day video, you know that Gabby couldn't join me because uh, obviously she would have loved this. And it is one of those moments where you're in the hot tub looking at the stars and if you're lucky to see the Aurora Borealis. But I will save this till later when it gets dark. Look at the icicles on there. Reminds me as a kid seeing icicles, don't see them often in the UK anymore. 
but it's a nice secluded space actually no one else is looking at you because um yeah you've just got the forest but what is great about staying in these glass igloos is that you're uh, right by the forest and it's like just just look at this you can just go walking through the forest all through the pine trees in the snow so lovely it's around about a five to ten minute walk to santa's village that lovely house that looks amazing at night by the way don't remember this being here last year snow fun there's a little ice slide and an outside ice bar here which is complimentary to guests staying in the glass igloo wow look at this an ice stone this area is quite new but it is quite small it is located in santa claus's village i'll just quickly go and show you the big commercial area and then we're off to go and get hot chocolate in the capital of lapland rovanemi come on now that is what you call a huge ice table so if you ever do a day trip to Lapland, this is where you're likely to come. I have covered this whole resort in another video, which you can see just up here, or I will link it at the end. And the world famous Lapland webcam is just up there. Hundreds of people visit that, especially this time of year, where you can see the temperature 10 degrees warmer than it was last night. Just looking for my Uber, black Volvo. Is that it? Yes, that's the one. Hello. Yes, thank you. I know it sounds weird. I've only just discovered Uber. <laughs> Where have I been? But it's actually so handy wherever you are. Last week. Did Uber only just start here last week? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, this is my second day. Your second day? Yes. <laughs> are you getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of work? Yes. What's the coldest you've seen it? Uh, in my life. Yeah. Uh, minus 38. Wow. And I, I was driving from Rovaniemi to Sorangi. Brilliant. Thank you, Thank you very much. Nice Thank you, Angie. Just dropped me off right by Hotel Santa Claus. This is where I was supposed to stay the first night, but unfortunately, because of Gabby's passport issues, we didn't stay here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. So, a um, bit of an epic fail there. I've left my gloves in the car. The app does help you out with that, but it will cost you 20 euros to connect you with the driver. It would have been easier if I'd actually just bought some more gloves. It would have been cheaper. And plus, I have to wait an hour now. So this is the main shopping area of Rovanemi. Look at that, made out of ice. First time for everything, a major scene but also they're made out of ice. Even the sheep are made out of ice and snow. And all those holding candles, they're all ice blocks. And there's a great place to go for a hot chocolate. I'm just trying to remember where it is. Let's have a walk up here first. Being the home of Santa Claus and the capital of Lapland, it's not short of its Christmas trees. So they've laid down an ice skating rink. All they've done, built a wall of snow, put loads of water in it, job done. This is where I'm gonna go and get my hot chocolate. This is really good in here. I could sit outside if I want to, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> I can't get in this way. It's like a Starbucks. It's called, was it called Espresso House? Rocky Road hot chocolate. Call the cakes. Can I get a Rocky Road hot chocolate, please? Yeah, that's all. Thanks. Do you want peanut butter? Yes, please. This is a Rocky Road hot chocolate. Try not to get it all over my nose. I don't think I actually got any hot chocolate just then. I'm still getting through the cream. Just thought I'd have a quick walk down by the river. This time last year, all of this was frozen. This year, it's frozen further up, but just this part of the river, it's actually still all right. Yeah, 
See, we don't see that in the UK. <laughs> Give me ice ice baby, vanilla ice. Look how many Christmas trees they've got in here. That's one thing about Rovanemi is all the trees are decorated with lights. So pretty. And uh, if you ever wanted to stay here, there are so many hotels. So, you know, if you wanted to experience Lapland, but you want to do it cheaper, you know, Ryanair flights at the end of November are actually quite cheap. They go up in December and some of these hotels are really cheap. You can come here for the weekend, get a little bit of snow, go over to Santa's village, do a couple of excursions in the wilderness and do it surprisingly cheaper than you think. Santa's here as well. So I could be reading this wrong, but that says free entry. Hello, dear. Hi. Ah, no filming. But is it free to see Santa? Hmm? Is it free to see Santa? Uh, yes, so you only meet uh, free. Are uh, you selling photos? Uh, yes. Ah, that's why. Okay. And my Santa has a magical camera. So you can go and see Santa for free, but. Um, I can't film in there. Even though it's free to see Santa, of course they'll charge you for a photo. You might be wondering why I'm at McDonald's, but did you know that this McDonald's is the most northern McDonald's in the world? There was one in Russia that was slightly further north, but that has actually closed, now making Rovanemi's McDonald's the most northern McDonald's in the world. McDonald's fans, you've got to come here. So right now, I thought I would come to one of the ski centers here in Rovanemi to see what it's like. I mean, I can't ski, but apparently they do do tubing. He's never gonna get up there, is he? <laughs> he did as well. This is a really good track because it goes down a real long slope and there's all these little bridges as well, which you don't see very often in um, ski centers, do you? I would love to learn how to ski, but it's time going somewhere to do it. Ski holidays can be actually really expensive. So you can learn to ski here, which is quite good. There's a tubing carousel. <laughs> this is called a magic carpet. Will it work without skis? I guess you're probably not allowed. This is free, by the way. They do do lessons on how to learn to ski. And uh, I thought I'll give it a go because it's 90 minutes, but unfortunately they're booked out for today. So uh, this is as much fun as I'm gonna get. At least this is free. Shame there's only two of them. By the way, there were adults on this a minute ago. Can you imagine doing that? Eddie the Eagle Edwards. That is very, very high. I wonder if they have a crash mat at the bottom or something soft to land on for those people just like learning how to do it. There's something so pleasing to the eye how they rake the snow here. It's really nice. You've got to laugh at that sign. No sledges allowed, but can you imagine sledging down that? I mean, that is just, from here, I don't know how, if the camera does it justice, just how high that is. What it must feel like to fly. Just time for a second hot chocolate of the day. The only problem with the days here in Lapland is that they're very short and the nights are very long. So, you know, it's, um, it's half past two in the afternoon. It's pretty much dark now. Um, 
And so, yeah, they, the nights feel like really long and the days feel very short, but you can still do activities, obviously, during the day, even though it's dark. However, I'm gonna go back and try out the hot tub after this hot chocolate. Okay, time to get in the jacuzzi. I've turned it on. It's all ready to go. Now, the only problem is you gotta go outside in your robe. I could take my coat out there, but there's nowhere really to put my coat. I'm also not gonna use my shoes because they'll get wet, so I'll use these paper slippers. Right, let's be quick about this. Oh yeah, don't forget the key card uh, because otherwise you'll have huge problems out in the cold, wet, and you won't be able to get back in. Okay, almost did. Obviously the snow's quite deep as well, so your feet are going in the snow, but here's the hot tub. Gotta be quick about this. That is better, hang on, I need a little bit of light. Oh. Well, it's not as cold as it was last night. Last night was minus 20 when I got in here, and as long as you keep your shoulders under, uh, it's not too bad. Shame it's cloudy tonight, no stars. In fact, I think it's gonna snow quite heavy tonight, so there won't be any chance of seeing the uh, aurora tonight. So with the room rate that I've got, I also get a free main course at the restaurant so i'm gonna warm myself up a little bit more because i tell you what trying to film all these angles with the camera i'm absolutely frozen i'm gonna spend a little bit longer in here and then go and get some food in the restaurant right let's head in for dinner Certainly a very busy restaurant tonight. Um, so, the way it works is, is that within my room rate, not only do I get breakfast, but I also get the choice of main course. Yes, that's lovely, thank you very much. So yeah, as I was saying, within the room rate, I get to choose any main course for free, which is pretty good. And actually, looking at the menu, the price of all the mains start at 36 euros. That's what you call a good deal. Mind you, will of course come to the price at the end. We get a choice of veal and mushrooms, risotto and scampi, elk fillet, prosecco lemon risotto, or arctic char and lobster. Slightly smoked arctic char, what's that? Button braised and lobster tail, cauliflower puree with vanilla lemon potato and carapa. Here's my dinner. 34 euros if I'd had it paid. I've got the, the char there, which is like a salmon, or related to the salmon family, the lobster tail. I've got some cauliflower cream, lapish potatoes. Is that like a smiley face? Literally, I can probably eat this in just like four mouthfuls. But let's try this char, I've never had char before. Exactly like salmon. How about the lobster tail? Last time I had lobster in, um, was it Greece? It was really, really chewy. I have to go easy because if I take the full fork of mashed potatoes, it'll be gone. I'm not a big fan of cauliflower, so having it like this, it'll probably be easier on the palate, which is quite nice. Wow, I would definitely eat my cauliflower if it was always like that. That's nice. That might have been small, but it's very good. So this is apple panna cotta with apple crisps and an apple type sauce. Oh, with edible flowers. This will be gone in like two mouthfuls, so I'm gonna to have to just gently nibble at this. It's very nicely presented though. I've had freeze-dried bananas before, but not apple. Wow, taste sensation. Edible flowers on the other hand. I'll pass. The spoon that they have given me, I could actually pick up the whole thing with this spoon, but like I say, I'm just going to nibble of the panna cotta. Taste sensation though. There might not be a lot there, but this is about tasting food, not ramming it down your throat. With the sauce, it's lovely. So dinner, even though it was small, was amazing. The final bill came to 31 euros, so that was 12 euros 
for the wine, four euros fifty for the bread, and fifteen euros for the caramel and apple dessert. Obviously, the main was complimentary, which came to about thirty-five euros. So, all in all, actually, that was not a bad dinner. Well, I'm going to say good night, but I think there's time for one more dip in that hot tub. I've got to get my money's worth. I'll see you for breakfast in the morning. Morning, so 10 o'clock here in Lapland and it's just about getting light. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so let's go and see what breakfast has on offer at the restaurant, come on. These lodges seem to be the furthest away from the restaurant, but even though that's the case, it's still only around about a two minute walk in the snow. So breakfast is a simple affair. There's um, a buffet, there's quite a lot on offer. There's bacon, there's sausage, there's scrambled egg. There's also some homemade berry soup, which I'm gonna try in just a moment. Of course, there was cookies being in Lapland and also a waffle machine too. I'm gonna start with something quite small actually. The bacon though, right, looks like ultra crispy bacon. One thing you've got to try is Finnish berry soup, which is just like the kind of berries that you'd get on top of a, a yogurt in the UK or for breakfast, cold star, but this is obviously just hot. And of course I've had to get some of those cookies. Probably one of the few places it's acceptable to have cookies in the morning is in Lapland. So they've got this lounge here, so you can have mulled wine in here, you can have mint hot chocolate, mint liqueur and cream. Oh, wow. I'll have to go for that later. What a view though. And just like in the lodges, all the glass in here and in the restaurant is heated. So, you know, you could still be sitting in there and look out to the Northern Lights if you're having dinner or see the snow outside. So how much did it cost to stay here for two nights? It cost me 1,550 pounds. That's for two nights with one dinner main meal included in that. Do I think it's good value for money? Well, it is lap planned. And I also did pay extra, of course, for the hot tub. They're nothing special to look at from here, but I guess the reason why a lot of people go for these is to lay in bed and look at the Northern Lights because it is pretty special. And not only just to look at the Northern Lights, even just to see the snow falling from your window whilst you're in bed. Everything was great. The only issue that I had was with that air conditioning, which was warming the room. They did have underfloor heating, but that wasn't enough when you're laying in bed at night. So you needed that heating on from the air conditioning, but mine was making such a racket. I did ask someone to come and check it. They did check it. They couldn't do anything with it. So unfortunately I just had to live with it. So I didn't overly like the fact that I had to keep a hat on uh, to keep my head warm because cold air sinks, these being made out of glass, I could really feel the cold air coming down. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you fancy seeing a full tour of Santa's village and me staying in one of my favorite little cottages here in Lapland, don't forget to click this video on the screen now. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.